Big game Friday night after last week's great performance. Uh, highs the boys uh, after last weekend's 3 0 win the win in Lockbridge. Are they feeling more confident now getting into Friday night's game? Well, the mood was good. Doing analysis of the game tonight before training and good feedback. Um, please, players are pleased. Some good performances and the collective performance, in fairness, from the 11. Mm -hmm. And even the guys coming on, such as Spike, for the goal that he's got. You know, but there was a really good contribution from the from the whole group on Saturday, so it's what, what we deserved. So there's a lot of confidence in the squad tonight getting into Friday then? Well, they trained really well, but they've been training well anyway. It's just there was definitely an extra age and step tonight. Mm. Um, there's a more of a more of a rhythm, particularly in the game at the end, you know, people are running around making good efforts and you know, they're really showing what they can do, so really pleased with what the players are bringing. And it was obviously a great performance on Saturday night. Bally Clare, they, they're obviously going to be coming into the game Friday night with their tails up. They got a great result. They home the Duns on Saturday, 5-2 uh, at home. And then they're obviously going to come here and try and make it difficult. They have done the last two times they've been here at Blansflower. But again, it's another test for the boys. Would you agree with that? 100%. There's no easy games in the championship. And obviously Bally Clare, they scored five in the second half against Dundella, who were going really well, really well organised defensively, hard-working team. As testimony to them, so we're going to have to be at our very best to get something from the game. But as I says, you know, hopefully, with Saturday, with what we're doing, with the effort and energy and the experience, um, and there is goals in this team mm -hmm. that we can 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 carry on where we left off. Yeah, um, I want to briefly touch on the news that we broke yesterday. Young Carl McCombs left the club. Uh, bit of unfortunate thing he played for the 20 turn sorry do you want to make a wee comment about Carl leaving the club is there any news about it all or what came about it I think we released the news yesterday well unfortunately for Kerr I think there's there's abundance of attackers at the club and mm. some of the guys have been doing really well and Kerr's had uh, an injury which he's coming back from yep. and he's obviously now got his job which has taken up a lot of his time and he's got a young family as well so yep. I can understand his circumstances around it and have no problem with it you know he would have had the estate and fought to get into the team and it's maybe time that he doesn't have. Um, so listen, he wants to play. Everybody, every player does. So mm -hmm. there's no no question. He's been a good player, good championship player in particular, and he's had a stunt in the Premiership we are. So listen, we wish him well. We hope he does well, and his next move. And we thank him for what he's done yeah. for the club. And we touched on injuries there with Carl. Obviously, we've got a couple of injuries to ourselves. Spencey went back to the twenties and started. He went off a bit of a groin injury. Davy Graham's also out at the minute. Any updates on those boys at all? With been injured? Well, Spencer probably for a couple of weeks now. He's groin, he tweaked it a bit, but unfortunately, we know talking to Johnny, the physio, that he hasn't had a real big full season, so, or sorry, pre season, so mm. it's going to be difficult for him this season. So it's just a case of doing patch up and hopefully he can contribute to what we're doing because um, he's an experienced player. Of course. Um, we are well covered at that, in that area, in fairness, because some good experienced championship players there. And then obviously, uh, Davies unfortunately had a knee problem and um, he hasn't been able to train, so. Again, it's going to be kind of kissing, nurturing him back. We will need probably players like David because he's experienced, mm -hmm. and he brings so on the change room as well. So, yeah. listen, you know, all the players that we've got are very important, particularly the ones that's not playing because they're the ones that's sitting there being patient, and we need them ready to go, often when which they will be needed. Okay, well, good luck for Friday anyway, and hopefully we can continue on the form that we had on Saturday because we did play very well on Saturday. Really, we kept the ball down, played very, very good football, and. Hopefully, we can continue on with Friday night with another result. Well, hopefully, as, as you say, we play good football. Uh, that, that's what the, we're trying to bring in the sessions. This is four weeks on. Um, I can't fault the players. And we're on the right path, but it's a results business. Um, we're under no illusions. It's going to be a difficult game. But as I say, we're at home. The onus is us, on us to take a game to Ballyclare, and that's what we'll, exactly what we'll do.